don't have a problem with that, just mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, I signed a consent form, mm -hmm. but it needs to fit the crime. One parent is baffled after his son was paddled at school for allegedly expressing his political thoughts on the chalkboard. Uh, that student, a Childersburg Middle School student, reprimanded for writing the name Trump on the chalkboard. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle joins us now in the newsroom. And Stefan, you spoke with his father. He says he's a bit confused by it all. Sherry Troy Stevenson told me that his son's teacher had given class assignments to the students to pay close attention to the presidential election. But that teacher was not happy one bit when his son wrote the president elect's name on the chalkboard, given the tense political climate. It's hard to believe it's been more than a week since Donald Trump shocked the nation by winning the presidential election, leaving some excited at Childersburg Middle School. I don't think he really did anything wrong. Yeah. I mean, I mean there's nothing wrong with discussing what happened. Troy Stevenson's son was in hot water after he wrote the word Trump on a chalkboard. That's when he received the call from the principal. I told him, I said, Mr. Byron, I don't think that you had been punishing him for that. That sounds an awful lot like restricting his freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. um, and he was like, no, 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 that's not what it is. The teacher had made a rule. Well, we haven't received anything about a rule. An alleged rule not to discuss the results of the election. He says students were told on Saturday because of the sensitivity of the matter. His son had the choice of in school suspension or to be paddled. He chose the latter and was sent home with this referral. We reached out to Talladega County Schools and received this response. No student would ever be disciplined based on their political beliefs. There would never be a situation in our school system where the students would be disciplined because of their support of a political candidate. Have a, like I said, a good discussion. You can have both sides of the argument. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. And let, you know, kind of let the children see what we go through as adults discussing the same thing because they're going to have to deal with this eventually. And Mr. Stevenson said he wishes his son had not wrote the name Trump on the board, but also felt as if it were the other way around, there would be no issue. And his son faces no further disciplinary action. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News. All right.